The 2023 Audi A3 packs a lot of premium content into its compact four-door body, and it also features spry handling and strong performance. As the entry point to the Audi brand, the A3 distills much of its lineup tech-focused ethos into a smaller, less expensive package. As for the new 2023 Acura Integra, it's a different take on the Honda Civic, with a higher price tag and combining the Civic's best elements. The SI's 200 horsepower engine, the hatchback body style, and the six-speed manual in a slightly more upscale package. And against its German counterpart, the Audi A3 that it targets, the Integra is a cheaper alternative with a bit less prestige. So, in this video, we will compare both cars inside and out, tech and pricing. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. This fifth-generation Integra shares most of its bones with the contemporary Honda Civic. It's more apparent now than it was in the past, however, as its general shape is similar to the excellent Civic hatchback. Acura's current design direction is very attractive, with the Integra getting the familiar diamond pentagon grille design and is accented by sharp LED headlights that wrap around the corners of the car. The side profile is sleek and characterized by strong lines that run all the way to the back, which stands in contrast to the Audi's softer side body work. The humpback roofline takes some getting used to, and the thick rear haunches are reminiscent of those on the old Honda Accord Crosstour, but the Integra still looks good driving down the road. Retro details of previous Integras are still present, including a rear hatch release that's hidden inside a semi-oval cutout and Integra logos embossed in the front and rear bumpers. The 2023 Audi A3, on the other hand, is a study in design contrast. The outgoing model's rounded shape continues into the new generation, but in detail, the A3 is far more sculpted than before. Up front, sharp headlights feature Audi's pixelated LED accents, and the fenders feature bold creases that remind us of the original Audi Quattro Coupe. The $850 black optic package ditches matte aluminum accents for glass black on the grille, window surrounds, and rear bumper garnishes. Along the sides, a faint shoulder line connects the front and rear quarter panels, while cutting through both doors. The styling element helps break up the smooth lines of the A3's sides, making it look sportier. The roofline slopes more aggressively towards the rear, which rounds out its appealing proportions. The rear plays it safe with tamer styling elements, while the large LED tail lights stand out, the black plastic diffuser blends in, especially on a vehicle wearing darker paint. Overall, both the Integra and A3's exterior design is sleek, modern, and sporty with a sense of refinement and sophistication that sets them apart from each other. But if I had to choose, the Audi A3 is my favorite here. Jumping inside, Audi's interior is a massive departure from the A3's of old, whether it comes to its form or details. The gouge cluster protrudes from the dash, flanked by air vents that just look odd and out of place. A blade-like design element spans the width of the dash at the level, separating the touchscreen from the switches and toggles on the center stack, giving it an almost fighter jet vibe. The main downside here is that the A3's cabin makes abundant use of cheap feeling materials. The front door panels have plenty of hard plastic, and the rear cabin is no better. The interior door handles appear to be upside down, and Audi's chunky gear lever is gone in favor of a beer trimmer style shifter. The dash top gets a funky cross-stitch bit of trim directly in front of the passenger, but the gouge binnacle surround is done up in creaky plastic. For 2023, every Audi A3 comes standard with a 10.3 digital instrument cluster, although some trims offer 12.3 inches Audi virtual cockpit display as part of the technology package. In either case, the A3 comes with a 10.1 inch touchscreen with both wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, featuring crisp graphics and is reasonably easy to use after a day of familiarization. The Integra's interior is far less edgy than the A3's. It's spacious with a great combination of low seat and position, low-profile dashboard design, and relatively thin A-pillars. The honeycomb mesh that first debuted on the Civic is used in the air vents, and the Integra differentiates itself from the Audi with more soft-touch materials on the dash and door panels, leather and microfiber suede upholstery on the seats, and added ambient lighting throughout the cabin. Again, these alterations put the Integra at or above the level of the Audi A3. The infotainment system uses the same 7 or 9-inch touchscreen as the Civic, and therefore not Acura's true touchpad interface that has drawn few fans over the years. Although it's claimed that the bigger screen isn't standard, both are generally easy to use, quick to react, and have graphics that are easy to read. And if we are comparing the Integra more to the A3, Acura gets a big advantage here, as Audi's latest tech interface is a tad more complicated. 
When it comes to comfort and interior space, the Audi is a small car, but the automaker extracted as much comfort as possible with supportive seats front and rear, as well as a smooth ride even without adaptive dampers. When it comes to utility, this A3 is a little better than the last, because it's a bit bigger in every direction. Sitting in the back seat is not an issue for legs, though folks above 5'10 will struggle for headroom. Trunk space is average for a compact luxury car at 10.9 cubic feet, though the S3 is worth at 8.3 cubes. Both numbers are poor compared to the non-luxury compact cars. Being 9 inches longer than the A3, the Integra is a pretty comfortable daily driver with a stiff chassis and well-tuned dampers that give it a smooth ride over even moderately broken pavement. The driver's seat is supportive for even long journeys, but the front passenger seat isn't height adjustable. However, the rear seat offers class lead in space and a comfortable seat in position. The trunk is much bigger than that of the Audi, with 24.3 cubic feet, which is a whopping 13.4 cubes bigger than the A3's trunk. Meanwhile, the standard 60-40 split seat back folds almost flat with the cargo floor. When it comes to pricing, if you are okay with the CVT, the base Integra costs $32,500 including destination, and it includes niceties like wireless smartphone integration, blind spot monitoring, and convincing full leather. The A-Spec trim gets unique front and rear fascias and upsized 18-inch wheels, while the A-Spec with technology trim boasts adaptive dampers and micro-suede upholstery seats, as well as an optional no-cost manual transmission. At $38,000 100 fully loaded, the Integra feels like a great deal. The Audi A3, on the other hand, is over $2,000 more expensive, with the 2023 A3 Premium retailing at $36,500, including destination. The 2023 Audi A3 is a decent proposition if you must have a premium badge on the hood. Quattro all-wheel drive is an additional $2,000. I would also recommend springing for the Premium Plus, which starts at $40,250 and includes more active safety features, full LED headlights, and leatherette trim for the armrests. When it comes to performance and handling, if you've driven a Civic Si, then you have a pretty good idea of how the Integra drives in its top A-spec model. The old VTEC scream is long gone, replaced by this turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder, but Acura is still using VTEC for the exhaust valves. Unlike many small displacement turbo engines, this one sprints through the final 1000 RPMs with addicting eagerness. It's quiet, but what little noise is present is actually quite good. With 200 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque under the hood, the Integra never feels blazing fast. That's less power and torque than the entry-level Audi A3, though more than the now discontinued Mercedes A220. But the Integra weighs a svelte 3,000 pounds in manual transmission form, nearly 300 pounds down from the A3. Combined with its nimble suspension tuning and limited slip front differential, the Integra is great fun on a curvy road. It's also the only entry in its class that offers a six-speed stick. It's possibly the best transmission available today thanks to short throws, closely spaced gates, and a pleasantly mechanical feel. The steering is light and accurate, and while we might prefer more heft and feedback, the Integra is hardly unique in that criticism, especially in this class. While the Audi S3 and RS3 are the obvious performance in the lineup, the standard A3 is no slouch when it's time to have some fun. Audi only offers the 201 horsepower version of the tried and true 2.0 liter engine, and the 221 pound feet of torque at just 1600 RPM mate nicely with the 7 speed dual clutch transmission's quick responses in sport mode. There is also a 48 volt mile hybrid system that provides some electric assist, though it's mostly there to smooth out the engine's idle stop system. Although it's down in power relative to BMW and Mercedes rivals, the A3 feels spry and snappy when the light turns green with a 0-60 time in a respectable 6.3 seconds, according to Audi. It's also pretty fun to drive up a winding road. A quick-witted Quattro all-wheel drive system reduces torque steer when powering out of corners, and the A3's just-right suspension tuning gives adequate body control and good behavior through mid-corner bumps. So, which one should you choose? Let me put it this way, as a commuter, you can't do much better than the Integra. It will be a faithful, safe companion for years and might save you some money at the pump. But if you are looking for a statement or a feeling, the Integra might not be yet. The 2023 Audi A3 on the other hand is a shower and for those who prefer a badge above all else, even if it means paying extra for it, 
it is still a good choice even if the Integra is a better overall package.